A large part of our game is traveling down a river avoiding obstacles. When you hit an obstacle, I wanted it to crumble or visually take damage based on the direction that you hit it from. To accomplish this, I decided to make several morph targets for certain obstacles and save them into the UV channels of their static mesh. For example, here's a shack that you might hit in-game. I duplicated this mesh and altered it to look like it was struck from the front. I then wrote a tool that would look at each vertice on the base mesh and find the offset needed in XYZ to move that vert to the duplicated mesh. This XYZ offset is baked into the original mesh using two new UV channels. The X and Y of the offset are saved in the U and V of one channel, and the Z is saved in the U of the next channel. I repeat this process four times, once for a hit from the front, once for a hit from the back, once for a hit from the right, and once for the left. By blending between these offset meshes, I can simulate the object getting struck from any direction, and I can scale the offset vectors to make the impact seem less or more severe. My tool uses blend shapes in Maya to pre the morph target blending. To see this in game, I simply import the base static mesh along with its extra UV channels. I wrote a material function that converts the UV data back into XYZ data, and I pipe this into the world position offset on the object shader. I have material parameters that let me blend towards each offset morph, and I use blueprint to set these parameters when an object is hit based on the direction that the object is hit from. I use this workflow for almost all destructible objects on the river. Take for instance these islands. It looks like we're using destruction or physics in order to blow them apart, but in reality I'm just shrinking the static mesh of the island based on the direction you hit it from, and at the same time I'm playing an effect I made of rocks crumbling away. These combine to look like we have a far more sophisticated system than we actually do.